Okay, so all right, here we are uh, for SCG Weekly episode 163. Welcome in everyone. Thanks for coming by for another episode. Um, this time on Eden's Agus. I made a typo on the tweet. It said uh, Egan's Agus. That was <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> but I've got it right. I've got it right this time. Um, and this is a game by XX Game Room. And they, we've actually covered a game by them before in uh, Blue Rish Resurrection, and uh, they actually, actually they actually got another one uh, in Eden's Agus. Pretty sweet game with uh, bullet canceling mechanic as kind of its primary feature here. Um, and we'll be, be taking a look at a few runs, and I'm gonna be joined by our volunteer guest for the show in Blossom. So, sup Blossom, welcome to the show. Hello everyone. Glad to have you, and I'm being co-hosted by Extruder as well. Hi there. As usual. So yeah, um, yeah, so this should be fun. We're going to be looking at a few different runs here. Two original mode, uh, no miss scoring runs. And then with, with uh, the two separate characters, Eve and Nanithi. And then we'll be looking at a hell mode, uh, 1cc as well. Um, yeah, it'll third. feature a third character, uh, Rhythm. Okay. There's also Mattel, but nobody uses her, only I do. Very sadly. <laughs> I well, see. She's got potential, but no one no wants to love her. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I, I consider her a really cool character. So. Briefly explaining about the game, it has this um, a bit weird scoring system, kind of reminiscent of uh, Esprit, which is also coming to PS4 in uh, Shot Trigger series of M2. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, yeah. And uh, Eden Sieges is, uh, is a free game. Uh, one, of, one of the ones we offer to play for Aquas in other Ed episode uh, 150, so he's already tried it out like briefly. Oh yeah. But right, right now we're going to be a little bit more in, in depth on the game mechanics, on scoring, and particular fancy stuff. Yeah, right. definitely like a mix of scoring and maybe a little bit of survival. Yeah, there are definitely a lot of inspirations from cave games in particular. You can color your bullets in four different types, and there are various references to Esp Galuda patterns, and probably Mushihime Sama as well. We'll see that as we, as we go. Yeah, yeah I think the true last boss does have one of the patterns from Mushihime, so yeah, that's kind of. Yeah, I always right, thought I these were. We can, we can progress. We can okay. progress to the first, to the first run, which does actually have a cave-ish slowdown option enabled, which is called uh, wait on. And you can toggle it in the in the settings. I mean, it slows the game down once the the in-game counter, the bullet counter, it goes past the certain amount. Yeah, yeah. Um, slow down, it, it's on by default. Uh, I would actually suggest, if you think you're good enough, just not to use it, to be honest. Uh, I don't think I am, so I, I'm, I, I use it. <laughs> but uh, it, it feels like, um, let's say there's 500 bullets on screen. It's slow. Let's uh, Now there's 498 bullets, it just jerks back into motion. So sometimes you can, you can get yourself killed with the weight on, but it's probably for the best for scoring purposes at the least and for survival if you, you you know you're not comfortable with the faster bullets sure there's also another option which is called auto guard and basically everyone plays with auto guard on so what it, yep. what it means is that player has a shield around them in case they, they get hit so they they just lose one bomb and just get briefly invulnerable but Manually detonating a bomb, which is also bound on a separate button, it's also really convenient and useful because uh, you cover the screen uh, with an enormous uh, blast of uh, firepower and just clear, clear the entirety of it. 
There's some differences between auto uh, guard and bombing too, actually, in that uh, auto guard, whenever the, like, there's a period of invulnerability, right? And that period is longer if you actually use the bomb. So you can you can kind of cheese your way through some attacks after you use the bomb if you want. Yeah, that that's the same mechanic as from the Don't Patch Die for cards, so actually. Yep. Well, I'm agreeing. I'm not. I've not played Die Fight, but yeah. Hmm. So we can go on for the first run. So can can you explain the backstory behind uh, this mysterious player PTR? This is apparently one of the older replays of the game, near the game's release, which was in 2010. Yeah, this was. Uh... I guess it was back on the Japanese forums before he deleted everything. He deleted his blog, his Twitter, his pretty much everything a few years back, and this run was posted on there. The funny thing is, there's actually a better run than this. Uh, <clears throat> 219 million from the same player from the same day. I downloaded it, and uh, around the beginning of stage three, it just desyncs. He starts dying to enemies and gets the game over. So, we could be watching that, but for some reason, it just uh, doesn't work. Hmm. Well, nah, it's, it's still, still pretty good. good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still pretty awesome. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> that's kind of odd. Uh, it sucks when people do that. I don't know. I don't, I don't get it, but you never know what, what's going on, I guess. Yeah, technology is strange. Okay, well, uh, let us get into the run here and I'm sure you guys will uh, start um, talking about uh, what we're actually seeing in the gameplay and all that. So I shall do the countdown and we'll get started with PTR's run here with character Eve of the score of 214 million. Alright, three, two, one, go. So right. Eve is the character from a uh, previous game of uh, All right, yeah, Edge. Yeah, Eden's Edge. Yep. Edgy. And the special mechanic of this game is the special attack, which you can see the, the meter on the bottom left of, of the screen, and you use that to briefly tag enemies blue, and after you destroy them, no matter with just what method you uh, you can cancel their bullets into these yellow. I don't know really what they are items. And yeah, gems. I just like to call them gems. Yeah, who knows? And Eve has the longest uh, recharge on that attack, if I recall. She does, yeah. But it's Her just like hitting. It's also just like fanning out and hitting everything, though. I guess that's probably why that's good. Yeah, she's the highest score character for... I mean, I really do think Nanathi has potential to outbeat her, but who knows? Maybe one day. So I so see there's also the you've already counter. got like the four options, though. Is, so, fully, like, fully yeah, powered you up immediately. Those, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no power mechanic in this game. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a bit different from the just the other rolling options. In that sense, if you focus and don't focus, then they, they will reappear relative to your position just when it when it was unfocused. So uh, you can kind of throw them around like that. It's it takes quite some time getting used to. It. It's not like they get locked in place like Marisa A options in Muff or the other freeze options in Gradius Five. It's a bit different and There's it takes some time. There's not a ton to about stage one, but. Uh... I do think before the bomb there, like there are hidden bombs throughout the stages. I think that he used a special attack a little bit. Uh, it's hard to explain this. Uh, the special, the bomb can block the special and not uh, turn the enemies blue if you do it at the wrong angle. So it, 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 things like that, you know. Intricacies. And here's the slowdown. You see, just it yeah, triggers even good. before the attack has really any chance to assault you. Just demonstrate how strong it is of a feature. Like, even the right there, I don't think that attack warrants slowdown. Hey. 
for obvious reasons, it's good to hold a special attack uh, all the time when you're fighting a boss, uh, unless you want to get a particular cancel on the face end, just like you would do in S Prade or S Prada. Yeah, if you're about to kill the boss, you really want to cancel right here. So the chain meter, you, you get it filled by collecting gems and it starts to slowly decrease. Uh, then drop down. Thankfully, it doesn't end the entire chain immediately, but it's still quite a bit draining. And then there's also the stage bonus, which we'll touch on later. That's one of the things that appealed to me about the game. It's not like Dodon Potch, where it just immediately resets. It's kind of more like, I think Mushi does that, where it just uh, starts rapidly dropping, right? Uh, yeah, Dive Potch does it too. Yeah, weaken the enemies, then finish all of them with the special attack, just sweep the bullets and also just let them fire for a bit, little bit in order to just let them spawn more bullets on screen so you could turn them all into gems, keep you on combo. Yeah, those towers definitely need one thing to fan uh, out more bullets. Yeah, classic is go to tactics. So how, how much of an impact does maintaining the chain bar have on the score? How, how does that work? The tons. That is, it's crucial. And like, what's you, the consequence uh, of uh, dropping it? Uh, just keeps going down, down, keeps going down. Um, oh, I see it's dropping right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. So you're building up that number, the, trying to um, keep the chain going so it doesn't drop. The enemies okay. are like multiply by that chain their score so like a common popcorn enemies are 10 times the chain uh this mid boss would be 100 times the chain and then stage bosses are 200 times cool so you're kind of so it's like it looks like there's this rhythm to the gameplay where you're just kind of waiting and then using the and honestly splatter, um, splatter shot i'm not sure <laughs> i mean this run is amazing right but like i don't i don't think that it's worth uh, waiting for all those enemies coming out that he just did right there. Because one thing I've noticed while looking into this game is that you really want to kill the mid bosses as fast as possible. Because they're not like bosses that... Um, bosses will make the chain drop a lot more slowly, right? The mid bosses are just like the rest of the stage. So you want to find any way you can just to murder them. So it, drop, so it drops so, faster for the mid bosses. Yeah, it, dro oh, it okay. drops just as quickly as the normal stage for mid bosses. Okay. Yeah, in order to keep the chain going, uh, the player doesn't immediately destroy the turrets on the right and just uh, attacks one then another. And you don't need to use the um, secondary shot to keep the chain going, right? Can you just destroy them regular? Uh, oh, the secondary no, shot is how you destroy, all, uh, uh, capture all the bullets. Does killing yeah, stuff maintain the otherwise. Okay, so the gems themselves are what are maintaining the chain. Is what you're, is what you're saying here. That attack, uh, it's, bullshit. it's not even that hard, but it, I found many ways to die to that. Most of this fight is uh, pretty easy, though. Yeah, it doesn't even really try to optimize the cancels, I see. I see... Uh, the first two yeah. stages for score probably aren't uh, that important, but this takes three for four or five, yeah. I see your hitbox is pretty tiny there, the little glowing white dot there on the... Yeah, While definitely. you're focusing, I'm guessing it shows up. Yeah, that's it. Always good to know your hitbox. So why do you think most of the players just high scoring once they pick Eve? I would say a lot of it is just because her special is so far reaching, even if um, it does have a longer recharge time. It just, uh... It covers more space. Donathy, she, uh... Her special attack has more of a, like, a homing attack quality, but... Shit, it, it's just a little more unreliable, I guess. Yeah. 
it has a little bit of harder time against bosses because uh, it's hard to get a good damage out of the special. Oh, Jamers mentioned that you actually don't get the gem cancel unless you uh, use the regular shot after the secondary. Uh, it depends. The regular, the special attack is sometimes enough to kill the smaller enemies, but for example, this one, you'll probably need to use a regular unless it's almost dead. Okay, so it's like there's a little timer in after you hit them with the secondary shot. Because the special them. does do uh, damage, just not a ton. Okay, so there's like leniency there. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. There's more leniency if the game's in slowdown because uh, it drops the game FPS, if I recall correctly. So do you need to kill the enemy while it's blue? I see them turning blue. Okay, that's a pretty good yeah, indicator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's perfect. It's easy to understand. So if you play with uh, weight on, you get more bend of that. This right here is probably the first mid boss where it's really important to speed kill it, but also, you know, you have to get as many bolts as you can at the same time, because he uh, makes a good effort to kill the mid part, like the main part, at the same time. You could uh, take too long there and just miss this upcoming wave. This doesn't usually spawn if you take too long, that kind of thing. And I'd say that adds like 800 to his chain. Most definitely, if a special attack is super powerful, if you direct it uh, just in, into the face of your enemy, like like you do in Raiden games, but... Get that splatter shot the, right in their face. Yes. <laughs> the Maku, most of the Maku bosses will not, will not let you... They'll, they'll have their way to protect you, uh, I mean, protect themselves from being shot point blank. Alright. Like this huge butterfly thingy. You don't want to really get into her face. Yeah, definitely. That's good for the special attack. And just like a lot of enemies, those uh, lamp things, lantern, I don't know what the hell I'm going to call them with these enemies. Um, you want to wait until we have more bullets out. Just like in Espigalode, it's important to remember what bullets uh, belong to what enemy. So then, then you could understand just exactly what kind of area is going to be cleared once you destroy that enemy with the splatter shot, yes. Because that, that cancel is... is only for the enemy that gets destroyed in their bullets, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mostly. There's a weird exception in stage 5 I'll try to explain. It's, I don't even entirely understand it, but it uh, does a lot for the chain. Gotcha. One thing about the bullets that I think is interesting, um, I think uh, Mushi does this too, right? Where it has the same same uh, bullet color the whole game, but uh, there's different shapes for the patterns. So like, even if it's the same color all the time, you basically have a good idea of what the patterns are. Like this lady's throwing up forks for some bizarre reason. Why not? Yeah, they, they look more like sporks. I, I don't know, I, I can't really see just the replay quality is pretty crappy. I kind of forgot what the, the boss was holding in her hand. But yeah, survival-wise, uh, the run with uh, weight on does not really offer any substantial just repeat play difficulty for a high skill player. Because at any pattern where you actually need to precisely control your character, it's gonna be slowing down to quite ridiculous degree. It's kind of like draw, dropping the difficulty one step lower. 
Yeah, if you're not used to seeing these kind of patterns, I, I could definitely see the slowdown being the way to go for like someone who's kind of new. Yeah, this is why I chose it because this is this was basically my first Bullet Hell game. I've been grinding it for some months now, and uh, if I could go back, I'd probably find a way just to do weight off because this was helpful at first, but it just kind of messes you up sometimes when the slowdown just suddenly decides to stop. Yeah, it does seem really uh, score heavy because it's just like in the stage, not a lot. It doesn't look like there was a ton of dodging, just a lot of canceling and waiting for good moments to do that. Yeah, the so. fun thing about this game is the survival and score are basically the same thing. Scoring is just surviving, but even better, that kind of thing. Yeah, that makes sense. This is a cool pattern. It is quite slow, though, you're right. <laughs> Myself, I play with the blue bullets. I hate this pattern. Yeah, try to get the point blank damage in right before the next wave appears. That's a good tactic. Like it, yeah. She usually waits a bit to. Well, all the bosses usually wait a little bit to throw out their next uh, attack, so might as well get some point blank in. So, uh, what's the stage clear bonuses about? Uh, what What's the stuff that you should care about? I have not meaning to... Let me see, I've got this written down... Well, this thing here, uh, just uh, before I... The centipedes there, you really need to get as many bowls as you can before they leave the screen. That's probably common sense, but yeah. The uh, stage bonus, though, uh, cool. They kind of count up all your gems that you have earned throughout the game. So, for example, if you try to play stage three on stage practice, um, your score isn't going to be what it would be in a normal run. So just disregard whatever that score is. And like for stage five is a better example. It'll say 100 million, for example, but it's actually like 103 because uh, the stage total bonus would be like six million, not three million. And, um, what's the other thing? Oh, okay. 300 times, there's 300 times gems. That is from when you destroy the uh, enemies. 100 times is from all the bullets you collect. So in the end, it doesn't really matter because uh, like a lower score and a higher score, like let's say there's 60 points of difference between them you will only get like 1 million points difference from the stage 5 total bonus. So it gives you a small edge, but it's not like a make or break kind of thing. Oh, and while I was talking there, those enemies there with the four like rotating pods, uh, it doesn't spit out all those tons of bullets you can cancel until you destroy those pods, so that's pretty important. thing here is more tons of slowdown. Yeah, nothing much. Hopefully it's noticeable enough that certain bosses' parts are destructible, and sometimes they can yield their own cancels as well. So it's that bomb there is pretty essential, yeah. It's more important than in like most other games where you, you'd think that you would only want to break out the boss's parts for support. Here they usually don't uh, mean that the boss is going to get more angry at you, so fire away. Yeah, here the boss parts are more like a way to keep your chain extended further instead of having it drop. Yeah, there's also one up in the stage. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about that. But, uh, and then dead boss there, there's a one-up you can reveal with your special attack. Bouncing around the screen. He bombed one of the, the first enemy that was like this earlier in the stage for points, because there's such a bullet sponge. That's a really good idea to do here. Yeah, I don't think you've really talked about uh, the, 
Well, actually, you did talk about the bombs, but I haven't really seen bombs being used yet. No, he saves those for Sage 5, and they're insane. I'm, I'm kind of convinced that a perfect run of this game would have uh, a lot more bombs in Stage 4 than he does, but then keeping the Stage 5 bombs, and then not bombing during the bosses. But, you know, let's... let's yeah. Mm. That's Insert James and me here. Obviously, you'd want to position Eve's options in such a way that uh, you'd want to have less of them at once if you want to time the cancel just particularly well. Otherwise, that they just strike in one spot and you'd do more damage than you would intend to. It's hard to plan around them. Now, this first attack is mostly for show. It doesn't, it looks threatening to newbie, but just like stay in between all these small bullets and you're good. Yeah, that's right. You pretty much ignored the other pattern just because you were move tap dodging to the right. That's what you're getting at there. The game can be quite micro-heavy when it wants to, particularly in the hell mode. You might think it's kind of hard to just treat those types of patterns where everything just looks the same type of bullet. But it takes practice just uh, grouping them into specific uh, geometric stuff. This pattern here, the thing can go either left or right. Uh, me and TPY have both like tried to experiment with like, is there a way to consistently make it go one way or the other? And if there is, uh, we've not been able to find it. I wish there were though. I feel like having it go left or right is a little better. Even before someone it tosses the game and they will find the way to manipulate that. Yeah, one day yeah, after the awesome. YouTube video is posted. I feel like this is actually a good uh, part for newbies like me to like find out how to tap dodge because this part you just have to move a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Or really not move at all, like it looks intimidating but it's not, that kind of thing. Yes, that's good practice. Yeah, well, and, and, oh. si and since Balsa mentioned that, he, he did say that he wanted to come on to this episode to kind of show that anyone can play these these type of games, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. And I, I think, like, for me, like, Eden Vegas and Bluish Resurrection were freaking awesome, like, back when they were first came out, because there wasn't a really easy way to play Bullet Hell games around, like, 2010, 2011. Well around that area I mean you could easily just download one of these games and uh, it was like you got you got to uh, experience that and only bad thing I say about this game now is uh, the resolution is clearly 2010 you know so <laughs> an HD remake would be cool yeah if only if only we heard from XX longer I'm not I'm not sure like he's probably still working on bluish desire. That's the thing, because there is Bluish Desire, but then uh, either he changed his name or decided to abandon it, because now, after that, there was something called Eden's Eclipse. So I'm like, are these somehow the same game? Oh, shit. These um, flowers, by the way, don't uh, fire anything unless you fire anything at them. Like, they're those round bullets, that they'll fire no matter what. Oh, okay. But then those smaller... Oh, here's that bomb. Here's bomb. Um, oh, sweet. That flower is still going. See right here, he cancels both of these enemies, and he grabs both of their bullets. Uh, I have an explanation for most of the things in this run. I don't know how the hell he does that. Like, I don't know the 
logic and how that works, but it does, so yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Incredible. So it's. Yeah. It keeps on canceling the bullets more. coming out of the other enemy after the first one's destroyed. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. Music's too good. <laughs> yeah, this, this song is amazing. <laughs> yeah, this song, uh, this music's too good, so you can replace it <laughs> easily. Yeah, after a while, you do get a little tired of it when you replace it. <laughs> the orchestra hits. <laughs> for a good few months, those orchestra hits are like, fuck yeah. <laughs> exactly. Respect the orchestra hits. There's another divergence, yeah. As, as we have seen about uh, these uh, uh, patterns, if you play for survival, you don't really want to shoot. Stage 5 boss, I would tell you about its pattern, but it's not important. Just bomb through it. You need to bomb through it for our score because it has your chain go higher, and for survival, just bomb through it. <laughs> Is that a bomb? We're seeing some bombs here. No. Yeah, two bombs yeah. through the uh, uh, mid boss. If you wait for that, around that moment, you get like 500 more. These enemies are one of those that only spawns after you kill it fast enough. Just tons of reason like to bomb that thing. That's another crazy bomb right there. He does that to get the second set of bullets from that bird thing. Crazy bombs. Dude, Dodo and Potsai Daojo should not have had dubstep. It should have just had orchestra, orchestra hits. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been yeah. maybe better. Every song is better with orchestra hits. The next DDP yeah, yeah. will have orchestra hits and dubstep and some other gimmick. Some yeah, get gimmick. the time machine from Daifukatsu so, and just tell the tell the composer to redo the OST and uh, maybe Cave would have still made made shmups make for, for arcades in 2020. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Art for sure has will save Cave. Uh, yeah. One could dream. Yeah, definitely. The the score gains in this stage are insane. Yeah, there there are the stage. This stage accounts for sixty right. percent of the score, which is pretty nuts. So you've been building that counter all game, or they've been building it all game, right? Well, no, it's just per stage oh, counter. Per that stage, counter okay. at the total bonus for the um, stage result screen that is all game, but it's, it's like the it's kind of negligible oh, yeah, compared okay. to the stage. I think I just got confused because it, it was a big number already. There's so many bullets here. This popcorn rush coming up, you get 40 million alone from that rush. It's crazy. So I think you might actually now. get 45 oh, million. I, I, I didn't, I forgot. Yeah, it's just going up by the millions at this point. Needs more like jackpot noises. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, that was Which a lot. Which is wild to me. He he beats my PB right there, and just from that, that was, popcorn rush alone. Yeah, that was so much at the end. That was like forty million right in the last like twenty-five seconds. <laughs> Speaking of an egg, here's a giant egg for you. Eden's yeah, and there's e Egan's eggus. <laughs> and there's Maple inside for some reason. Everyone beats up Maple. Oh. She needs some love. Don't worry, yes. we got we got her on the show. She's on she's on the screen. Yeah, we got we got her three times. I was actually every, gonna say everyone has to keep her. We needed art of her, but like she needs to be here somewhere. She does have higher damage output though, so I do wonder, you know, she it feels like if someone could find a good route for her. Uh, that high damage output would destroy the mid bosses faster. Maybe you don't have to bomb them. Maybe you have to use bombs somewhere else. Like who knows? But then it's like your stages are gonna have to be rerouted to a. Eh? Yeah. This is definitely an actual the pattern. Yeah, I've been wanting to uh, see what you guys say the patterns are influenced by because I have no idea. Honestly, yeah, I get a lot of I get a lot of Galuda vibes 
Mushi. It's like Galuda, Mushi, and, Ra and Raid. In one. Maybe not as Speaking much Raid, but. Break. Special, special attack of Maple is actually a spray influenced, and that way you can either just hold it and stay in place and the toll straight, uh, flight straight ahead, or or you can swing it around. Oh yeah. And here's a one-winged angel step two. Okay. I feel like half the reason I play this game is just to hear the badass song again. Oh shit. Proof that royalty free songs can be actually good. Yeah, Sunder Rainforest is amazing. He was also featured recently in Arrow Camara, the episode of the user. Oh yeah, nice. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean like that's like the strategy, like you just make royalty free music and it, it can get some multiple games and more people know your music at that point. <laughs> Feels like everyone knows him now. No particular tactics here. You just want to destroy the boss as quickly as possible and uh, get some point blanks. He does use a bomb in that phase there. Like I'm surprised he did because I thought that was just something I did because I suck at the game. But even he does. So okay. this is a mess pattern, for example. Definitely lots of references. Needs more hand-shaped bullets. Yeah, you might want to <laughs> keep some options uh, in the middle of the screen so you would uh, hit the boss anyway. Oh, uh, you're not hitting the boss on the side there, yeah. The way I think I saw uh, Aldnox uh, describing one of his YouTube descriptions is it's a mix between Mushi and... What was it? Esp Galuda? Because it has yeah. those kind of patterns, but then the counter drops just like that. So it's like a, if you like parts of a cave game, but not another part, this game just mixes parts of it. Kind of like Blue Wish Resurrection did that. It had like a mix between Don't On Poch and Ketsui. Yeah, just not really as punishing as those games are, I think, overall. Although, getting hit, they... I, I hear is yeah, still you bad. Get it, they, <laughs> That's definitely like, a cave thing. Before the final boss, you're screwed. If you get hit like right here, it's not the end of the world, but you don't you don't want to. Here's where he really shines. You can just walk into the boss face and continuously fire off the attacks to really speed kill the way. There's a bomb. There is a good example of the invulnerability from the bomb, yeah. Used all of the bombs in the run. Very efficient. GG's. Yeah, you need to use every bomb in this run, really, if you're playing at a high level. All right. There's no so reason not the... to because of all the bullet cancels you get from it. Yeah, do, do you get bonus for extra lives? Yeah, 3 yeah, million you per see. life. I paused on the uh, results screen in case you want to mention that before we go into the next one. I, okay, that's what you're talking about, that 300 and 100. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, one from destroying enemies and then one from canceling bullets, yeah. The shield bonus is um, basically don't get hit, but I think I've even seen it not go lower if you die and they come back, but you don't want to die, so who cares? Uh Stage bonus is the same either way, 500,000 for stage 5 and etc. Okay. Let's go to the next run then. Alright. The one without slowdown, so then you can see just the game threatening the player right away. Yeah, this is 5 minutes faster than the other run, so you get 5 minutes of slowdown. In, yeah, this is how previous. you speedrun Eden's Edges. <laughs> well, that's yeah. That'll be some free, free time save. That is if you don't have wait and wait off as separate categories. Then I've always thought the idea of uh, speed running a uh, shoot 'em up is a good meme. Because like if I'm you're gonna, gonna if you're gonna speed run right? wait on, then you're gonna want to not make any slowdown. <laughs> yeah, lag reduction tactics. Yeah, because yeah, it's all about the lag reduction. 
but yeah. <laughs> and boss kills. That's like your two speedrun of shmup elements. Anywho, so this run is by P uh oh uh TPY. TPY. So it's t not TPR or PTR, but TPY. Two two of the same letters but rearranged differently. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh kind boy. of ironic. Aquas just wants to play super cool and ghost at this point, so he's turning everything into speedruns. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, carry on. A countdown. All right, hold on. I'm just formatting the uh, video here. All right, that should be good enough. Okay, let's get into that. This is uh, with the different character, Nanathy now. With uh, 156 million on original. All right, three, two, one, go. I do really like the stage one song too. It has like a Sega quality to it, if you ask me. Sega, nice. That, that synth. But yeah, Nanathy has a shorter recharge on her special. And there's also this thing where if you tap the special before it's done, like you can, you do a shorter special, but then it recharges faster, even faster than before. So yeah. So I Nanathi is probably not, more technical. Did not know that. That's pretty amazing. Just being able to use a portion of it, that's even more sprayed than I thought. Yep. You couldn't use a portion of it before with the other character? You not with Eve, no. Oh, wow, okay, that's a big difference. Uh, and it recharges faster, so that sounds even too. nicer as well. Eve is easier, but at the same time, it's I guess it's stressful knowing that it has a longer recharge time. So less damage with this secondary shot, I'm guessing? Uh, or is it about yeah, the same? Yeah, like that, yeah. Definitely less coverage, although it's uh, homing just a little bit so we can pick off popcorn of the sides. Yeah, it homes, but it's a little unreliable, so you kind of need to plan your route with her a little differently, I guess. Do you ever just like sing that synth when you're starting to run, like? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's in my head forever now. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good, isn't it? Now stage three, that you that song change. has killed me many times, just dancing around to it. I'm like, well, I guess this is another run over. Just stand up and just... Glorious <laughs> <laughs> trumpets. Sexy sax, dude. You need, to get, you need to get into a remix of this one. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Guy, he need them that much. <laughs> I feel like you don't notice the slowdown reduction too much on this boss yet. I mean, okay, that part a little bit, but... Okay, it's a little spicier. I rate my yeah, bullet pattern good. difficulty in terms of uh, level of spiciness. <laughs> well, <laughs> tell me if you see a ghost pepper. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like jalapeno, then habanero, then ghost pepper. And whatnot. The green pepper is like the easiest. It's like fucking easy. <laughs> green pepper shmup. I'm gonna make a shmup, it's like gonna have really tough bullet patterns, and the bullets are gonna be like pepper shaped. Like for the really hard patterns. <laughs> anyway. Ibarra bullets. <clears throat> this music, I don't remember hearing this one last time. Because this song is unremarkable. I can't speak. Unremarkable. Oh. Worst song in the game. Rip. I'm sorry. You can, you can see the difference between play styles here. If uh, PTR uh, tags all three of the giant turrets uh, with the one special shot, uh, TPY, yeah, he, he can't afford just uh, destroying them one by one because of the recharge time is shorter. Yeah, those towers are a little... See, like, more tactical 
splatter shotting. Mixing between splatter and secondary, I don't know. That's as yeah, braid was the splatter thing. <laughs> no, aren't they also hack uh, her just focus shot is like a wide array I can't speak uh, look it's kind of like a focus fire straight ahead but then her unfocused uh, is wide shot like right on shot okay. so somebody in this chat is telling the runs already suboptimal yeah let's just dissect it Well, milking. Apparently, there was an opportunity on the mid boss or something. Stage two barely matters either, though. Stage one, like I've, I've put up the percentages before, like uh, stage one is one percent of the score. So even if you play your best, it's barely gonna matter. But so you're still trying to build up the counter, though, yeah. for the for for later on when you're getting like thirty million points in twenty seconds. No, the counter only stays for one stage, but how are the pra practice options oh, yeah. for this stage? Are you satisfied with them? Wait, five of what? Practicing. Like, the options the game gives you. Oh, yeah, yeah. There is a practice mode, yeah, for, like, you can, uh practice the stages themselves or the bosses. I wish there were a way to practice specific phases for a few moments. For example, um, stage three, final phase, uh, there's a way to misdirect one of its patterns away from you, but it's really hard to practice it just because, uh, you know, it's like right at the end of the boss. So if you get it wrong, then do it again. <laughs> Sometimes what you can do is, like, you can just not, uh, you know, attack during a pattern so that you can potentially get yeah, the pattern yeah, yeah. repeated. That can be a sometimes an effective way practice, to practice. Um, if you do that long enough, it just, the boss dies. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's standard or what. If it, she just gives up, I'm like, okay, I'm nice. done. Nice. Time out. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so don't forget to use that as a practice method. I think a lot of people can over overlook that that idea. Okay, here we see the first guard. Uh, she got hit once right before the boss too. Very sad. Very. I I cry every time I see this run. Damn. We, we gotta see the spork lady though. Now this, this is a song. No, we will not discuss uh, the run and the techniques. We're just going to talk about the royalty-free doujin music. Yeah, sure. What did you expect at Sistage Weekly? The tangents are real. Yeah, I like the graphic oh. style though. It's like you know, it's uh, it's colorful enough and it's fun to look at, even if it's not like caves hyper detailed. It's still yeah, it's not perfect, but it definitely the bullets, works for the game. Yeah, I mean, the bullets take the fo center focus, so and the enemies look pretty cool. I like the enemy design. That's something only Nanda can really get away with right there, where she actually canceled all of that wave. With Eve, you really just need to kill him normally. Like, there's occasional moments where Eve does just need to kill small enemies because her recharge is too long. Okay. So there's this tactical problem with uh, uh, this game that players are trying to solve. Just for how long do you want a particular enemy wave to live? Because uh, if it's uh, too short, you won't get enough score from that. And if it's too long, just you, you risk them just going too far away. Or just outright kill you because you weren't fast enough. You see, for example, right there, she didn't spawn the uh, extra wave after that mid boss. That's another small wave where, like, Eve would probably just have to kill him. Although, PTR did manage to uh, 
cancel them and the next wave, so I guess probably not. You can see the um... on on these mid boss enemies, uh, you you wanna kind of well not mid boss, they're just really large. You wanna stream into directions just left and right to while simultaneously dodging the large pattern because uh, the popcorn just will not let you stay stay in the middle. Yeah, definitely. The popcorn tries to get you move. Pretty basic tactic, like here. I like when the Maku games kind of layer patterns on top of each other like that. So doesn't let the player get comfortable with their position and just fire away the boss, just staying directly underneath them. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Change the stuff. I feel like TPY does this a little more in TP or TP. I, okay, now I'm confused with these initials. Um, where uh, the gauge on right below the uh, number of the chain that you have, whenever you wait until it's not blue anymore and then cancel, that way, like you know, you have more bullets. If that makes any sense. Oh, you mean for the next for the next cancel, for the actual yeah, for the cancel. Next cancel. Yeah. The way you wait around all of it, but you know you're not being penalized for it. Nobody uses the blue bullets. I have to bless YouTube with with Mapleron. I think I'm using the uh, pink ones. The purple one. I know he uses them because he told me that he. Uh, Reminds me of Nushi. <laughs> you can't go wrong with the pink bullets. In general. It looks visually messy, but if you know just exactly what parts are in that view, you can navigate them. Yeah, and that thing there like locks you in at your current location. That reminds me of a uh, Galuda 2 pattern in particular. Uh, or Queen Lars's Cajun attack. Uh, that's pretty close. Galuda 2, that pattern is really annoying. And we see now. I find it interesting how he bombs there, but then not through that pattern. To me, that wow, battle nice. is much tougher, but then again, I'm not the one playing way off. <laughs> if you just stay calm in this, it's easier. A little spicy there. Another extra life. Oh yeah, that's one thing I haven't mentioned is the extend are at uh, 7 billion and 30 million. Kind of like a cave thing where uh, the first extend is pretty easy to get. Like there's no way you're not going to get it. 30 million takes a little more effort. It's not that hard, but it's still like, you know, it's just tougher. Now this damage is not really that high, so she actually takes a bit more effort than killing the snakes, so have to kind of concentrate a bit more on them. Can't allow yourself just to stay in the corner. Need to aim. He seems a bit like the Mario of the game, and that she's really good at everything, but not amazing at anything, I guess. Also a good newbie character, because uh, she, uh, like Mapple, she's one of the two which are available right away, and to unlock Eve, you have to beat the game with uh, both of both of the starter characters, and to unlock Remy, you have to beat the game with Eve. Yep. Straightforward. Good thing so, is you can even do that in Heaven Mode if you really want to. Yeah, at this stage, you just enter into this battle trance and start directing shit around.
destroying the or orbiters one by one, then leaving the enemy in itself untouched. So yeah, that thanks. just preserve the bullets. I don't think I mentioned this last time, but it's tempting to bomb this thing twice just because of uh, the higher score you can get on this stage. Uh, T T PTR got uh, 36 million from this stage and he only bombed it once. I wonder how much of a yeah, difference that would make. Maybe just a uh, bomb there, I think. Yeah, just to yeah, clear yeah. out some popcorn. So basically, use the bombs if you need to. It's not that big of a deal, score-wise. Actually, for bombing. doesn't catch the entirety of that sneak. Don't know if that's. Wait, what intended. is it about bombs? Like that doesn't like kill your score when you use them. So. No bombs are beneficial. You should never not use them, really. <laughs> okay. Because they give you more uh, bullets. I mean, more bullet cancels. Yeah, I'm like, uh, well. Machine it's part of why I was attracted to this game. Really bad to bomb. So that you could bomb freely. Yeah, definitely. When you got a scary situation, yep. A perfect run should. I mean, you shouldn't bomb because you're scared in this game on a perfect run, but like you should uh, just find the really good spots to get tons of bullet cancels and use all nine of your bombs. The games with bullet canceling with in them, especially in such with such powerful tools as this game offers, uh, yeah, they, they can look easier than they actually are. But uh, then then you enter enter that game and you, you end up being absolutely murdered if you don't know just how to focus your attack on the enemy because there there's just not enough space to dodge. You haven't killed the enemy fast enough. You didn't clear have to be aggressive. Yeah, I can see that. They're... Yeah, I would be interested to see this game played without the bullet cancel. <laughs> That'd be a challenge for sure. Then it would be like playing like, yeah, I mean, then it'd be a lot more like Mushi 1, original mode, or Raid. Because Rade only cancelled the bullets that were like, right by... Wait, I forget how it works, I think it... Yeah, right underneath the enemy. Right by the enemy, yeah. Around the world, baby. That's what we call around the world. <laughs> That reminds me, we're thinking of doing a shmup glossary episode at some point. I still, I like that. I do like that idea. We'll talk all about uh, around yeah, the world and are... stuff like that. That would be pretty useful, yeah. Extruders had that idea. I think it's pretty good, so it'd be kind of fun. Because there's a lot of different yeah, my, terms. My idea is pretty good, typically. He used the bomb on that spinning thing too, so it's pretty cool that he didn't on weight off. Yeah, unfortunately we don't cover the secret Axel mode, which you can access by uh, oh. tapping, tapping down. I wish we could, but I can't find difficulty. a full part of that on YouTube anywhere. It, like, uh, I think it's original mode with sped up bullets, like twice the speed. It's, it's basically, I think, Blue Wish has the same thing, right? I don't think they are twice the speed. I, they probably they have an acceleration to them, so like they actually get up faster. I'm not not exactly sure, but it would make sense given the difficulty title. And so it's a secret difficulty, and we don't cover it because uh, everyone sucks at it. No exceptions. I think the highest score I've seen it is like uh, three million, which is, I guess, no one should finish it. <laughs> That sounds interesting. That that's the homework for us to weekly of yours to beat Axel mode of this game with whatever character. 
Be Aaron's wife. Yeah, I kind of wonder who would be better at it. I think I've read a couple people say Eve is better for hell mode, so I don't know. And before Mapple. <laughs> Rip. Uh, yeah. XX did uh, some nice art of uh, of their characters too. Like, you you can uh, put the uh, put the the characters on the sidebars. Yeah, he's got some some friendly friendly, some not so much. Uh, Axel mode is not really an arrange mode. It's it's a secret mode that's already in the game itself. And it's done by the same person. Yeah, you just go down to hell mode and press one down, and it looks like uh, there's nothing chosen, but you're on Excel mode there. Hmm. Yeah, good thing uh, it doesn't have revenge bullets. Otherwise, it'd be like uh, not not even funny. Just one small relief. Uh yeah, back to stage five. Streaming, reading the lanes, bombing. Go for a it's second, I thought he was using one bomb in there for some reason. Yeah, it's easier for a newbie just to better use the, the special. Looks it's like a cancel this miss in there. <clears throat> we got the left enemy right before, but didn't get the right one, and those bolts went off screen. I think if you don't bomb that mid boss, you'll uh, drop your chain by like 400 or 500 because it takes so long. Massive bullets. So I suppose if you want to improve your score, you just practice this stage a lot. Yeah. Cause... I think stage four is very underrated too, honestly, though. I see. Because for a time, um, the highest score other than PTR in that stage was like, what, 24 million? And now it's up to like 30, 31 million. But his is still 36 million on that stage. I mean, it's it's not obviously the huge score that stage five is, but it's I'd say it's important. Satisfying cancel there. I like her bomb zone too. I don't know, it, it, it's cute. Oh, that was be close. If you want pointers on how to access the Axel mode, uh, you can uh, watch the SG Weekly 150 and there, there I teach Aquas how to do so, so he does dot stream. Yeah we, yeah, we said you just press down or whatever. As you can see in chat, uh, XX games, they typically tend to have uh, features uh, identical to each other's games with slight variations except like uh, bluish is with with the spaceships and uh, and is with cute girls and so on to each their own i guess before we get into hell mode after this there's a couple things i forgot to mention like the, one of the reasons i think this game is good for newbies is it has no rank and i think that's something that sometimes scares people off, like Battle Grega, even hearing about that, it's like, nope, nope, until you get used to the idea, right? And I think for this, that'd be good. Yeah, one less thing to worry about there, for sure. Of course, Battle Grega is still fun until, like, you actually start getting somewhere, and then you just hit the brick wall of rank. That's kind of what happens if you'd ignore that. You'll uh, kind of just get owned on, um, oh, what is it, uh, the cloud stage, Draga, because those carriers will have way too much health. <laughs> like, Maybe he'll yeah, actually get hit. Screwed. Maybe he'll get hit here and actually show this in uh, execution, but something else I forgot to mention is auto guard. Um, having it on is still not the best thing for score because you, uh, your score goes down by uh, a third. So where it now is like 13. Ah, okay, okay. I don't have a chat pulled up. What do you mean it goes down by a third? Did you uh, get once hit? You get it... hit. Oh yeah. So what about when you have auto bomb off? Well, what's the penalty? 
for getting hit. You die. That's it? Yeah, you just die. Oh, okay, well... I see. Kind of a double-edged sword there, I guess. Can you just, just lose 3 million for not presenting that life at the stage total screen? Dude, I, I mean, the... game clear. Yeah. If you die, your chain goes to zero, but you don't lose the chain with auto guard, so that's... Yeah, that's... I see. Uh, too much math. And, yeah, you eat a wall. <laughs> because a, it took a, too long to kill the pattern. The glue to two so patterns So in a small there. way, it feels like cheating, but yeah. Still gonna kill your score. Uh, there's too Not much math. I... Too much math in the chat. It's it's like Ketsui all over again. Math in the game. No full game chaining, once again. Uh, yeah. <sighs> do, 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 do. Oh, good bomb. Oh, okay, I see. And the final boss is actually a good place to think about not staying directly on the bottom line because uh, it actively encourages you to move forward to some degree, even yeah, if you don't the want final it. Final phase is a good example of that. Like dodge, you you also want to just aim more of your shots at the target. I was actually surprised at seeing how often PTR stayed at the bottom. Surprise! Boom. Another bomb? No bombs? It's over. Ah, <laughs> uh, Devil Engine not yet. <laughs> like, nobody beat the expert mode yet. Kiwi's working on it, I'm sure. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll wait a little bit on that. Yeah, because we want to just uh, do the best with it. Oh, God. And all right, that's the second run. So we're done with the original difficulty, and now, now it's time for uh, actual game. <laughs> Damn. Josh but Larry. not really, because I hate revenge bullets. Time for so some the revenge bullets. Are the patterns are harder, and that's why the game mode still might, might pose some interest to those who don't like revenge bullets like me. I've mentioned this to Xtreme before. I would really like a compromise between original and hell, because yeah, the patterns in this mode are really cool, but I don't want revenge bullets, so like, can we just take those out and have hell mode with hell mode light? I don't Maybe if he's out there more. listening, I don't know. Okay, time time to watch uh, Jamers. Yes. Yep. Because Jamers is is life is Shrek. Shrek. Yes. <laughs> the <f> <laughs> what does that mean? Well, Shrek is green, and Jamers' little profile picture is green. He's clearly Shrek. Mind blown. All right. Yeah, so hell mode it is. I think we're ready to go with weight off. This is the difficulty after original. Yeah. And then it's then it's Excel. Axel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th okay. All right. Get to run by Shrek himself. Uh, all right. Three, two, one. So this is a run by the last unlockable character with me, and her special actually recharges super fast. But it also stays on screen for like, yeah, one frame. It just snaps. Oh, that's pretty cool. Quick reference, this uh, character is actually from X Dodex's first game called Green Wind. I don't know if played it, but I, I just know it's a thing. Right. And she's also super fast, uh, like to complement her uh, just supreme uh, melee, uh, melee attack skills. You get to zip around the screen. That's pretty fun. Much faster than the other characters. I like that with laser thing. It's pretty cool. Or it's like a little melee attack, huh? Yeah, basically, a very short range for her. Yeah, you have to get close, otherwise uh, you will just not be able to touch enemies with it. So it's a very risk-reward character. You really have to learn the stages with her. 
But uh, good news about her is that she does tremendous DPS to bosses if, uh, if you know how to stay close to them. That's pretty cool. The range is still not bad, so... Yeah, it seems like it takes up half of the screen, I think, yeah, so definitely. Considering Hell is the only mode which has the elusive true last boss of the game, which disappears if you pause the game amongst other things. Or continue even once. So that, that final boss, it's kind of ridiculous. And you really want to kill them as fast as possible. So a high DPS character is the way to go. Maple. And looks like Jamers is still doing scoring here. Like intentionally. <laughs> He does like to do some score and then practically all of his uploads. Just because, uh, well, restarting the games like this, it's still you. You tend to get good at the earlier stages of the game because you just play them more often during the credits than the later ones because you just restart and keep looking for them. No wonder you get good. Yeah, I feel like that's how you just start scoring a game from my experience so far is like, You've played so much of stage one, you're like, well, might as well try this out. Yeah. That's a good point. Oh, man. That's some jalapeno right there. Yeah, you can see why they would... Uh... <laughs> The developer would uh, stuff that character away from newbie size <laughs> required to complete the game with others. And so, yeah, Revenge Bullets, <laughs> they are always really saying the that the would actually be higher than 219 million just because he got 7.8 million from stage one, and that's 3 million higher than anything I've seen for original mode. So, yeah, more bullets, more cancels, all that stuff. I love it! <laughs> yeah, I like these revenge bullets though. There's not many of them, but they definitely make you uh, think a little bit more about what you're doing. Um, try this mode with Eve. Once you shoot your special attack once, you'll get just lots of them coming into the Oh, it's because uh, the specials like instant, you don't get as many here? Uh, more like... Jamers is kind of like partitioning them, so by, by using a small special but more often, he doesn't have to deal with large swarm of revenge bullets just all at once, which is convenient. Oh, okay. I think yeah, I for see that reason, saying. I would say she probably is better. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Mode. Yeah, it looks a lot, like a lot of fun. Death smiles. Dance games. Yeah, I wish I could just, uh, you know, suck them in, like in the Ice Pilots. But no, you, you, you have to avoid them entirely, and you cannot uh, get rid of them in any way other than using a bomb. Compared to like stuff like Pro Gear, when you can just cancel it regularly. I actually didn't know that. I wonder if there's any reason you want to bomb Revenge Bullets then. Probably not, but... There's probably never enough revenge bullets on screen for a bomb to really cancel enough for it to matter, I guess. Uh, I'm in survival voice. Hmm. I'm not sure if, uh, if if the special does more damage if you place uh, place it closer or uh, just more air. It does. Point blank, the special does more damage, yeah. Oh, nice. Micro dodging with this character is a little bit harder. Now... Uh, special attack reminds me This attack... Of, uh, oh, go ahead. Oh, what about that attack? I would have said this looks like a fun time on Hell Mode. <laughs> Are you going to get down that hell mode? Uh, eventually. Nice. Well, me definitely. I'm already, I'm already playing it quite a bit. 
but with a different character. And so you uh. can see the difference with the DPS because I believe the HP values for the bosses are the same as the original. So if the attack pattern allows Ridney to get close to the boss, it'll get shredded. If it doesn't, then it's going to be a tough battle. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I can not imagine how she would tackle without that short range. Not played her enough to know, though. And sometimes the patterns, they might have just some occasions uh, where where you can get closer to them and sometimes uh, they, they change and you have to fall back. Just stay flexible. So you cross Left the other. side, right side. Interesting how that top ending barely had any revenge bullets at all. That's some pretty good macro and Bainan. Yeah, that's pretty spicy. Given an original, you can cancel pretty much every bullet that's thrown at you. Here, you still have to sink in two layers of bullets. Can't cancel the revenge bullets. Yeah. Oh! So, now you have to really think just where they are aiming. So your position will always determine the angle at which they are going to be shot at. Yeah. And so it's much more important than in original mode. In the original, you can be more concentrated on just blowing up everything. Well, yeah, it's like... Yeah, you know. this really is more about just... Uh, not necessarily yeah. surviving, we have to pick your battles. In original runs, you can see just uh, staying in the middle and waiting until the smaller enemies will come to you. But here, you want to stay at the sides first, because if the revenge bullets are going to be shot to the sides, that means they will cover less space on screen overall. They will disappear faster. And so, especially, they are not going to be aimed to the middle, and so they will not block your path when you're going to a stream from the left side to the right side, etc., etc. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, you, like you say, pick your fights. I think Boston said that. Ooh! Very tactical. Getting close there. See, that butterfly just gets destroyed in two slashes. Uh, even one Eve special isn't enough to destroy that, and here's just bam, three seconds. Yeah, the macro dodging looks awesome in this. <sighs> yeah, as long as you actually tag every target and the destroy them. Well, it's like a combination of macro and micro, because you gotta move away and then you get in between. Once again, Even like... just that. Yeah. Where, where macro dodging will be, like, moving around patterns and then micro within. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, even just that sound effect is very satisfying. <laughs> the slash? Yeah. Oh yeah, it reminds me of the Striders slash. Strider. <laughs> uh, kinda, if you turn the, the screen sideways. Well, and the sound effect, too. You get Spork in the face. Spork. Sponsored by KFC. Yeah, Muchi Muchi Spork. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> that guy has the nickname. Oh? Oh, that was pretty slick. Just, what were you thinking? Oh, th that's a good looking bomb too. Lasts pretty long. Oh, that was a bomb. Switch the lanes. Pretend to your plain Frogger. Now, a Frogger shooting them, that would be, be interesting. Um, I think there we are already like plenty of Frogger games. <laughs> Especially on Nintendo 64 or something. Like, you know, like, but, Bomberman, it also went in 3D and stuff. But there's no Frogger bullet hell. Uh, 
Or it'd be, it'd be like called... uh, Car Hell. Car Hell. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe if the game takes place in Chicago, then it's gonna be both. Yeah, really busy city. In the future, so there'd be more cars. And more guns. <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry. Considering this run is kind of trying to survive to the last boss because last boss is notoriously brutal. So uh, here you want to destroy some of the enemies even before they start firing. Even though it would be suboptimal. Although I have noticed some of these enemies, he's still waiting around for the best uh, bullets. So I guess he's still playing a little bit for score there. Um, only the safer opportunities. Yeah. Like uh, slicing that snake in half. You, you can see that uh, the revenge bullet, they, they went directly down the screen, and which can be pretty dangerous. No, no bombs. Yeah, you can't restream the waves as, as good, if you're limited in that way. <laughs> Cluster truck. Uh, we, we need that AGR, eventually. That'll be pretty cool. Yeah, I have an idea to... Is that game. like a Frogger yeah. game? Uh, sort of. You just hop uh, across flying trucks in 3D in first person and you get power-ups like levitation and grappling hook and so on. Whoa. And just death. One Shrek down. <laughs> yeah, one less love. Oh shit. Sick cancel. Oh, nice for stream backwards, so actually a good idea to just <laughs> return and finish out the popcorn, yeah. Oh, got don't, caught there. Don't leave the trash. She is so fast even when she's focused, that's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, it's good when you want to move uh, vertically just upwards, immediately dash upwards to the boss and slash them. I guess this stage alone is probably more of a reference than Mushi, right? Because it's stage four, you got centipedes. Yeah, they remind me of that. Oh shit, that thing was going nuts. That thing is going nuts. Making popcorn. Bullet hell popcorn. So that's what that thing is. Popcorn I've maker. I'm trying to name all these enemies, and I guess that that is the popcorn maker. That's <laughs> that is its name. <laughs> it's really efficient for when you need to feed the whole family. Yeah, you want to move uh, from one side to the other pretty fast. Otherwise, if you move slower than the revenge bullets, they they're just gonna uh, change angles really slowly, and you'll not make a gap in order to just survive the next wave. So you have to make really fast swipes to the left and right, repeatedly. Yeah, you can kind of see the, the method simple. there, just by watching it. Pretty helpful to see how that's done, honestly, because... Not exactly intuitive, like waiting to take out enemies so you can create a gap in the bullets and whatnot, but that's how it's done. It's not like waiting, it's more like really fast and focused movement. Well, that too, but there was a moment when he just waited there. Patterns are really harsh. <laughs> this is probably a good difficulty spike. Just because of the whole nature of the fight, that it requires you to actually move around and then throw a really just micro dodge heavy uh, pattern at you. It's such a change of the pace compared to the previous fight. But yeah, Raid Me, uh, thankfully, Raid Me is a closer age fighter, so being in the middle is actually a good thing for her. And see, the boss is lower, lower than the boss in the game, so you can just 
tap upwards once in a while and still hit it. Very easy. Even though the pattern's hectic, you get plenty of time to just align yourself vertically. That seemed kind of dodgy. What a nice pun. Kind of dodgy dodge there. <laughs> that will be uh, included on the Shmups Glossary episode. Dodgy, get the, get dodgy the dodge. dodge. I mean, get the dodge out of hell. Get out of dodge. Yeah. Get the, get hell, the hell out, out, of, out dodge. of dodge. Oh shit, stage five. This right? stage wants to make you try. The real, the I, real, I real. I'm just gonna practice mode and just know. Orchestra hits to hear you. That's when you know it's it's time. The final countdown. It's the final count. It actually, kind of sounds like the final countdown. It's the final <laughs> copyright season. This final countdown. We don't want to mess with uh, content ID by singing too good, so we don't. Oh shit, Das Bullet. You're just a plot. Uh, lots of words. One thing I forgot to mention, I don't think it really matters for Hello Mode, but uh, uh, when you Huge. use a special attack, it actually turns off screen enemies blue as well. It's not useful in every instance, but it is one of the things that sometimes, like for example, in the first part of this stage, uh, the first wave is that's the easiest only way really to get every bullet from him. Oh, wow. So are you like, is that helpful if you're killing them right as they enter the screen then? Every now and then, like there's just yeah. some edge cases for it. Okay. So you, you see four lives on the counter and uh, like half of the stage five and you might be thinking yeah it, it's it's perfectly fine this is fine but no you you just don't oh, know anything yet i'm not going anywhere there it's gonna be much more spicy we gotta defeat one last pepper incoming incoming ghost pepper yeah <laughs> charging up ELB isn't too bad, says Kivi, who who is the only player to get close to expert uh, mode clear in Devil Engine. That Devil yeah. Engine cred. Yeah, like uh, he he's gonna live uh, his life, uh, like outlive all of us, and that his tombstone it's gonna be written. Uh, the death isn't too bad. Yeah, <laughs> that that's great. I'm perfectly getting with this death. Destroy them off screen. So, yeah, like, uh, that, that's one circumstance where it's actually useful because you're making them blue before they enter the screen, so they just kind of die faster. And let you stay on the side for longer because they won't spawn any bullets either. The tap dodging. Another stream section. Yeah, everything's planned. Uh, the rhythm of the cancel. Also, a spoiler warning: if you like forks, uh, let's let's uh, see another household item there. Get your forks, your spoons, and your sporks, and your and your peppers, your ghost peppers. That's all you need. Uh, yeah, but uh, we have to beat Mapple one last time. <laughs> Eat your peppers with a spoon. <laughs> yeah. There's oh gonna shit! Be a the dodging. The true last boss. Don't worry. Washing machine <laughs> esque dodging. Very giant epic spoon. Yeah. Some hardcore spoon in action two, on it. Two weekly. scoops.
Yeah. Two scoops of raisins in every bullet pattern. <laughs> Just saying random shit. Oh man. Was that the whole was that the bomb there? Yeah. Yeah, that looked cool. <laughs> See the form is destroyed. Absolutely. Already much faster than uh, either original of the original runs. Yeah, you're right. I, I didn't even notice uh, she's dead. That was just like tap dodge one way, then uh, he had to switch to, to going the other way. Oh! Really precise. Spicy. I like this. But yeah, this one you really want to speed go because uh, otherwise, uh, just you're gonna get rammed by the giant wall from the left. And of course, whenever there are several seconds of oh, downtime, when it seems like the boss is doing nothing, you 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 can't allow yourself to fight fair or to just wait until they shoot first. You have to slash them in the face repeatedly. It does a nice chunk of damage, that's for sure. Pretty chunky. Chunky salsa. Looks like even in the hell mode, this is an easier pattern compared to the last one. Top left, top right, top left, top right. Yeah, here's rhythm is probably the best. Uh, where is the final pattern gonna allow you to be just nice. so close? Everyone uses the bomb in this pattern, you wanna know this. Uh, yeah, and it's time for Jamers to decide whether he's gonna be the big spoon or the little spoon. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh shit! Oh, here's the spoon. Oh wow, that's what you meant. Wow, you he really should circle up her own too. That is a big spoon. It rivals uh, Kina's spoon from Final Fantasy IX. Oh, For characters with spoons. Oh man, that was a nice dodge. Back and that that's ass the, up. That's the TLB. That that is, uh, according to reports, to some of some, it's it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not so too bad. It's gonna be coughing up bullets just for several days after playing this, but no. I mean, you're alive, uh, there's, there's the run. You, you, people can still enjoy it regardless. Autobomb. Guard. Wait, guard. I like how Holy this is the only God. boss where those pink things that spew out bullets are actually obstacles themselves. Okay. Oh, the Espigaluda final pattern. It's just like that one. Uh, there's no spoon now. This is a super spicy spoon. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Here's <laughs> another one you've seen before. In the face. This pattern is just ridiculously dumb. You just want to kill it at all costs. Just using those resources. Yeah, typical cave stuff. It's just a mess. D just don't even try. Dude. Like, you can dodge, like, three seconds of it. That's it. It's, it's a proper final pattern. <laughs> ah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Ghost Pepper? No, maybe. Yeah, Ghost congrats. Pepper, right? We defeated all kitchen utensils in the world. We gotta celebrate like our a... victory. That is in hell with our bare hands. We're going off for ice cream, gents. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wash down that pepper somehow. All right, GG, good stuff. Great run there. Yeah, great peppers. Good pep. Got a little pep to your step in that one. Uh, good stuff. The moral of the story: um, go play maple. Yeah. 
please. <laughs> yeah, like uh, there there needs to be a banner like uh, like uh, Jimmy Wales from Wikipedia. Just uh, please play. Something like that. Yeah, it's it's a good game. Yeah, you sh everyone should try it. Every shmup fan because it's free. It's like no drawbacks. <laughs> Yeah, Other like than sleepless like, nights. I mean, the timing yeah, would have been nightmares. better, like if it was 2010, because I think we mentioned a little bit earlier, like this was like the only way to play uh, like a modern cave-like game back then, and that's why it was so awesome. But I think it still holds up pretty good, <laughs> especially if you're just For trying sure. to just you're just jumping in and you want to see what the fuss is about with Bull L games. Um, of I course, think it's you know. a good game for yeah. newbies if you want to get into bowl of hell, but also I think maybe even just for playing for score, there's some ways the games could still be optimized, probably. Like where exactly to use the bombs. We're still trying to figure that out. Like TPY said he's trying to figure out where exactly he wants to. So I mean there's still Yeah. I don't know, maybe. Well, then, like, the scoring so, system is right so now. simple and original that I think, yeah, anyone can experience the the joy of scoring with, basically. Yeah, definitely. Nice. The joy of scoring with Bob Ross. I've yep. never really understood the pill entirely of scoring until this game, so I think maybe someone can like it. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. One of us. Yeah, that, that hell mode is pretty impressive. So we didn't see the Excel mode, which we mentioned multiple times in the episode, but that is the final difficulty. Um, did we say it does have revenge bullets? I forget. Uh, it doesn't, because it doesn't. it's already okay. just so it's just, uh, it, shitty. It's just crazy. So yeah. That, so yeah, check that out if you check out the game, if you want to see what that's like, I suppose. But... Was pretty funny, yeah, just so. don't just don't expect. If to you'd like, it. I know of a short three-minute video of the stage five boss on Excel. That's the only thing I can find on YouTube, really. Uh sure. Throw it in the That's channel. Though. All right, sure. Just the extras. All right, we'll take a quick look at that in a moment. I wish I could find our full run, but I guess no one just wants to do it. Can't blame them, but. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, it's untouched ground. It like it's free real estate. There is that. There is that aspect. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. But never uploaded it. Well, never happened. Then. Wow. Yeah, you, you know, like, you, you'd you expect some le less less well-known player just uh, say that. I, I think I, I just uh, defeated uh, Queen Larsa with using only three bombs, but I never uploaded <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got a sub-40 run in Super Metroid just years ago. Never decided to upload it. Yeah. Funny thing is, people uh, people say that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah, have to sure. Fix that. Yeah, SG Weekly. <laughs> Do your homework. Oh, do we have the video yet? Let me see. Oh, uh, there it is. Okay, let, me, let me pop that up here. Back to this here. Okay, so we're okay. So I'm not even like. Uh, should I do a countdown? Let's watch this one video. If you guys are ready. Yeah. All right. Alrighty then. Three, two, one, go. So. We got more of our go rid me. This is the stage five boss on Excel, so it should be balls to the walls. Mind you, this is no way to end Excel, so that's pretty crazy. Well, if you play in Excel, you. <laughs> Ooh, I, I don't uh... know why. Why? 
why you would make it easier. Yeah, yeah. There, I guess that's not really play this one, no. I actually have a 60 FPS video here too, so you actually get to see more so what the game looks like in motion. I don't think any of the other videos were 60 that we watched. All of them were 60 as far as I know, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> this, one looks, this one looks a lot smoother. Uh, well, we link them in our description, video description anyway, so you can check them out for yourself. Indeed. Well, the PTR video is on the list that I felt kind of uncomfortable. Since that's not mine, I just uploaded it. Eh, as long as you give credit, it should be fine. If they didn't want it to be seen, they would have privatized it. That's my philosophy anyway. Get the game before a soundtrack is playing because we're wrapping it up here. That was one game I've been wanting to play for a while, but rest in peace, the whole localization thing, I guess. Yeah, you, you don't need uh, English for it. Except for like understanding what's going on in the lore. Well, more. I don't have an Xbox 360, so I was just kind of hoping they would eventually port it to oh. Steam or PC or something. Yeah. Maybe one day. Or one maybe day. I'll just like, suck it up and get a 360. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know if, how well the game did. Probably not, maybe not good enough. I don't know. There's definitely a few things on the 360 I need to play anyhow. Like, I think that's the most reliable play, Escobar 2, right? And probably some others. Yeah, I mean, now that you've played this game, you gotta play Galuda and Galuda 2 and uh, ESP Rade. For sure. Yeah, those Sony patterns that were like Galuda 2, by the way, I saw like three or four that were really reminiscent there. I love Galuda 2. So good. <laughs> It's like the best, it's like the coolest ca cave game, in my opinion, for cool factor. I mean, you got like the, the monitor man with the freaking gun and he holds it sideways, like the first mid boss in stage two. It's like, damn, he's holding his gun sideways and yelling at you. And then he oh. becomes monitor man in, st in stage three, la laughing at you from a bunch of monitors on top of a tank. Well, that boss is also really ridiculously hard. <laughs> That's one thing I really like is recurring bosses and shooters like Soldier Blade did that where you find the final boss like three or four times throughout the game. Yeah, that's fun. Okay. Oh yeah. I guess the only video that wasn't 60 was Jamers that we watched. In any case... It's always better to see a game in, in person. That will always remain true, I think. Um... But yeah, I suppose we're going to wrap it up here. It was uh, good to check this one out. Um, so thanks, Boston, for coming on, of course. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Thanks for having me. Indeed. think you did a good job talking about the game. That was fun. Just uh, seeing if there's any lingering uh, things in the chat here. Do I have an Espaluda 2 clear? I do, KZ. In fact, I've cleared it with all three characters. I like it. I like that game a lot. I don't even care to play for a score in that one. This is your first SCG Weekly Kiwi? Oh, awesome. Yeah, thanks guys for coming coming by, of course. Uh, be free to oh, pop yeah, into the... Kiwi. Yeah. Feel free to pop into the YouTube channel itself. Um, sometimes people do miss episodes. So they just never, didn't know about them, but yeah, we do update when we're doing episodes on the Twitter. Uh, sometimes it's short notice, but take a look there. That's the best place to get uh, updates. Um... Oops, I didn't mean to pause that. I think I did touch on most of the notes that I took, so I guess, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we got the we got the big picture, I think, here. So, definitely give it a shot. And uh, that'll be it for SCG Weekly, episode 163. And we're going to be doing, uh, I believe, an awesome game replays tomorrow, um, I believe, at 2 p.m., um, is that, is maybe not this week, we're okay, not, maybe, ready, not okay. quite here yet. Okay, no problem. Well, at least we got this one out of the way. So yeah, take care everyone, and have a great uh, rest of the weekend there. And uh, upcoming week, so...
Take care. Thanks. Have a good weekend.